So I just wanted to share the way I work through one of these portraits. I began by sketching, and this is a video that's been sped up. I don't work this quickly. I began by sketching the animal on a piece of canvas. This is the white-faced storm petrel. Altogether, this portrait took about five hours to complete. You can see me drawing it in there. And then I, after I've sketched it, I start, you know, I've already collected plastic of a lot of different colors and separated out the pieces that I'll need uh, for this portrait. But then I start cutting down the pieces uh, for the different areas and then using a needle and thread to just hand sew the pieces kind of where they fit almost in like the puzzle of that is the, the portrait of the animal. So I, I collect uh, film plastic from people in my community. I collected the film plastic my family used for several years and I have it divided by color in different bins. I don't usually use the plastic that I clean up from beaches and rivers because it can be very dirty and I don't have the facilities to clean and dry it so that it's safe to work with. It also can wear down and become brittle and uh, brittle plastics or plastics that tear very easily are not necessarily good for sewing because they will uh, disintegrate or split as you try to work with them. You can see here, I just have it on the floor. I'm working on the floor, sitting cross-legged next to it and sewing the different pieces. Got some blacks and some browns there to go along with the gray and white to try to show the different parts of the animal. can see I'm sewing the body. I usually just go around the edges. I try to use small, even stitches because that is more secure. And this is a piece with a, a portrait with a lot of very small pieces. The birds can have a lot of detail because they have a lot of feathers. And usually for the smaller images, I do add more detail. If it's something large, like a whale or a dolphin, I don't go into very fine detail. So here I am making the wing and I'm trying to use sort of different shades of white to try to show light and shadow on the wing. You know, as I, as I sew along the side, I will take the thread. As I get to the end of a, of a thread, I, I usually sew, I'm um, sorry, tie a knot on the back, <clears throat> but I don't always. Sometimes with the bigger pieces, when you're working in the middle, it's not practical to tie the knot on the back, so I tie the knot on the front. But I, I kind of like the way it looks. Um, I like for them uh, especially the ones I do with the public. I like for them to look like real people made them, <laughs> you know, and that they're not perfect because um, I'm, I, I don't love plastic. I actually have a lot of problems with plastic, so I don't necessarily want them to look beautiful and perfect. I want them to look um, complicated. <laughs> Here I am cutting with small scissors, the small parts of the feather on the wing and then sewing them there, you can see. I often use a large needle with a large eye because that um, can help push through some of the harder um, and more difficult to work with plastic. Uh, some of the plastic is can be difficult to work with. Here I've, I've kind of fast forwarded a bit 
um, to show the process. You can see I'm adding some of the grays in the background to try to give a feeling of water underneath the bird. Uh, but for some of the very fine detail, I usually use a very large needle, but for some of the very fine details, like with very small feathers, I might use a very fine, uh, small sewing needle. Here I am just working along the edge. Those big, large pieces, of course, go much more quickly. They cover a lot of area. When I'm doing a very big piece, like a whale, I soon learned that I needed to use very large pieces of plastic to make the job go more quickly. So here I'm, I'm finishing it. This is the last video. And I have already added some of the, all the feathers, all of the background, and then trying to add some fine detail to the wing to get those shadows doing some fine details on the face, the bird's face. And here I am finishing off the last, the last little bits. When I do it with the public, I find that I often have to go back in and, um, make sure their pieces are secure, uh, especially with children. They might not be using small enough stitches, uh, but with a very large piece, I'll, I'll go and do that. Thank you.